Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. Um, and I'm going to say a quick thank you as well to uh, this software that I'm using, which is OBS and is a free download. So thank you very much to them. Um, this flatter stuff is addictive in that the more you look into it, the more I think you're sort of trying to find a curve. And I've just put something that I see every single day and that hundreds of thousands of people see every day um, to a really simple test of curvature. And I'm going to take you through it on the internet because it's absolutely silly. Um, we'll start on Google Earth so I can show you. Uh, welcome to the United Kingdom. Just to give everyone a, a quick uh, introduction. This is where we are. We're going to be talking about the area here in the Bristol Channel. I'll uh, zoom in a bit so we can see where we're talking about. And uh, this is the area we are talking about here. Um, here's North Devon and here is Swansea Bay. Um, I'll take us into a picture of Swansea Bay to start us off. And this is where we're talking about. This is Swansea Bay here. Uh, so in fact, zoom that in a little bit so I can give you a better perspective on exactly where this looks like. That's better. Swansea Bay. Okay. Uh, the distance, as we can see, from the area we're talking about here, which is going to be the Mumbles Head and the Mumbles Lighthouse. So there's a pier on the end here and there is a lighthouse here and here is a great big steelworks and here is a long flat beach here on the M4 motorway this is what I mean by hundreds of thousands of people know about this every single day thousands and thousands of people sit here bored stuck in traffic along here because there's always a traffic jam where it goes into a dual carriageway and they look across here at the Mumbles Pier and people sitting here in traffic because this is a tourist spot and it's a little windy road with quaint old buildings and stuff there's always equally a traffic jam um, because it only kind of goes to the pier into a car park and stuff it's not the main road round to this part so again you're always stuck in traffic there and on a clear day quite clearly everyone will tell you that you can see the beach at Avaravon now it occurred to me that that's too far so I'm going to just give us a quick introduction here and the site I'm using to work this out is davidsenesac.com which is really really helpful um, and it explains um, how to apply the theory to work out the curvature of the earth and it gives you some examples to get your brain around it and then if that doesn't work <laughs> um, even more conveniently writes down the miles and the height and feet of curvature here so for 10 miles there should be a curvature of 66 feet now the distance that we're talking about here isn't quite 10 miles um, as you can see it's five kilometers on here so this works out down to margram at about 12 kilometers and over to here at something less at the you know the least point of um of probably about 10 kilometers um just over 10 kilometers so we're looking at between six and eight miles for the distance we're talking about now the curvature on the distance between six miles should be 23.8 feet and eight miles it doesn't tell us but we'll say it's about 45 feet so we're looking at the curvature between 25 uh, 23 and say 43 then feet okay and again we're talking about this beach over here this motorway over here back to here as you can see the motorway is significantly further but it is slightly raised up so I'll, I'm going to stick with the beach now the first thing I want to show us here is um, is Mumbles Pier so we can see this is not a tall structure it has changed a lot over the years there's lots of different versions of it um, but now the bit that sticks out is this piece here with a little building on the end it is not incredibly tall um, and Port Talbot still works is, is fairly tall um, this is a building um, directory and on the tall buildings page it will tell us that the tallest part of Port Talbot Steelworks is 135 metres, so it's 500 feet tall. Now, what I want to draw your attention to is the fact that when you are at the Mumbles and you are looking out across here, without no one gives us a second thought, we just look over and go, oh look, there's Port Talbot, done the beach look nice at Aberavon today. Look at all that stuff coming out of Port Talbot Steelworks, it's something like that. Um, which is probably what these big clouds are. Okay, but what we notice in all these pictures is there is a beach in the background at Port Talbot and just to draw your attention to the geography of this the little bit that you can see going in there in the corner is the river that goes up and Avron Beach is right next to this and then the steelworks are further around here and this in every single picture when you're looking at the same angle again this is where the river goes up there's the steelworks there's the beach and just to show you that 
there's the steelworks, there's the beach. Every single picture you can see the beach at the back. However, the beach across there should be between 23 feet or 45 feet beyond the horizon or behind the horizon or however they describe it, which it quite clearly isn't. Now, the next point I'm going to bring us on to here is um, a, a further picture um, to prove that point because just behind you, as I pointed out, where the lighthouse is, which is just behind the, the piers on the little headland around this corner which sticks out in the front. Again, you can quite clearly here see Port Talbot Steelworks. These are the cranes at one end, which look a bit like Star Wars walkers, and here's a beach along the middle. And just I have downloaded that so that you can see on the blown up version. So let's very quickly open that. And um, here's the same picture. Let's zoom out so you can see. Here's the same picture. Quite clearly, Mumbles Lighthouse, which again is not a huge structure. We're not talking about this being 500 feet out of the water, considering that people can see it out from Lundy Island, which I'll come to in a minute. Um, again, it is, would defeat the object of having a lighthouse there. This should be like up here if it was going to going to um, actually do its job. But let's zoom in for what I'm talking about and illustrate this point is the beach, so I'll go on full zoom, I'll just put it down and all the way along here, I will go along to these furthest points, not only can you quite clearly see a beach along the end of here, but you can also see waves breaking along the end of the beach here. There is nothing obscured, and this most certainly is not under 45 feet of curvature. If you walk down there and stand on the beach, you look around where the sand dune is behind you, this is 10 or 12 feet. 45 feet, your curvature should be right up here, not down here, you can't, there's no possible way on earth that you should be able to see all that. Next point, um, and I'm going to take us to Port Talbot Steelworks, seen from Colborne Hill in Somerset. Again, we can see the big tower, and along this is the end where we're just looking at, and although it's a cloudy day, you can quite clearly see in the background the hills looming behind, and you can quite clearly see the beach in the foreground. Um, back on Google Earth, I'll show you where we're talking about is over here okay and we're looking over here on a cloudy day um, in fact I'll take you to the picture and show you exactly where it is it's here and we're looking back across here now the distance we're talking about here is somewhere around 30 miles so our curvature at 30 miles is quite easy to work out because uh, Mr. Sinisak already done it for us it should be 595 feet well quite clearly that is not under 595 feet of curvature because that tower isn't 595 feet at all. Uh, so, again, that's, uh, I don't need to keep that open for me, that's completely ridiculous. These towers, the tallest part of that is 135 meters, which is 500 feet, and that should be under 600 feet of curvature from that point. So, this as a one off picture completely proves that the Bristol Channel is utterly flat. The next point I want to go on to, and I've shown you where that is, isn't it, is um, I mentioned Lundy Island. Well, Lundy Island here, you can quite clearly see again from the edge of Devon. <laughs> Take me to the edge of Devon. And here it is. Here's the point at Heartland and out to Lundy Island. And again, we've got five kilometres here. So we're looking at about 16 kilometres or 10 miles. 66 feet of curvature um, and quite clearly there's not 65 feet of curvature there because if you go and have a look at Lundy Island these cliffs are only about 65 feet tall on the lower parts um, you can see quite clearly on these pictures here they're not that tall so again just to point out this curvature you shouldn't not only be able to see the bottom of the island, you shouldn't be able to see almost all of it. And as a further point to that, um, I'm just going to again draw our attention to Google Earth because something I, I did mention the lighthouse at Mumbles, okay, which is on here, which you can see as you come past Lundy, which is 40 miles away. Now, the curvature for 40 miles, and this is why I say there's no point in having a lighthouse there, the curvature for 40 miles should be a thousand feet. Well, if there's a thousand feet of curvature to that lighthouse, which as we saw, I'm not going to open again, um, which as we saw, um, is far from a thousand feet out of the water, how could you possibly see it from Lundy Island? Well, 
I'll go even further. You don't need to be up there. These hills here above um, above the motorway are, have a height. Um, look this up for yourselves. I won't bother to go into it. But they have a height of about 1,200 feet. And from those, you can see on a clear day, Lundy Island. Well, the curvature at the 50 miles that this should be up, um, sorry, above Port Talbot, these hills here, the top of here, and they're inland a little bit where the aerials are, not the ones right next to the motorway, second line of hills back. That's another seven miles from the coast. So we're looking at over 50 miles. Curvature on over 50 miles, I will open it again now, um, should be 1,650 feet. So an elevation of 1,200 feet, you should be 1,200 feet, um, 450 feet of curvature, which you, should still be obscured. There should be 400 feet still obscuring it there from the second line of tall mountains back here where the satellite aerial installations are all on the tops. So again, there's no possible way you should be able to see that. But anyone who is sitting in traffic and hasn't paid attention before, the next time you're down here and sitting in traffic here, just take a look across there and on a clear day, not only can you quite, quite clearly see the mumbles, but you can see across the other side to Devon. And that's just from sitting on the motorway in traffic there's thousands of people see this every single day and as I said before my theory for this is that at school we should have been told to go out and investigate and to measure the curve it's the kind of thing that they would have told school kids to do when I was at school and the reason we didn't do that is because there isn't one because I'm genuinely trying to find a curve here and um, I'm just becoming more and more convinced that there isn't one so please give me some comments and let me know what you think about this thank you very much for joining me and that's all I've got to say tonight. Thanks.